All right, today I'm going to show you another way to host N8N yourself, and we're going to use DigitalOcean to do it. You'll find a link down in the description. Click on that, and it'll take you straight to the DigitalOcean website. Now, here's the cool part. If you use the link I've provided, DigitalOcean will give you $200 in credit to use over the next 60 days. Go ahead and click that link. It'll take you to this page where you'll see the offer for $200 in free credit. Just click on Get Started and follow the prompts to complete your registration. It might ask for your credit card info, but don't worry, you won't be charged for the next 60 days. Once you've completed the registration process, go ahead and select the Ubuntu server. Next, choose the data center location that's closest to you. This helps with speed and performance. Then, pick the server you want to deploy. Since you've got that $200 credit, feel free to go wild and try out one of the bigger options. But for something more long-term and practical, I personally like to go with the $6 plan. It's reliable and gets the job done. Now, choose a strong password, something secure but memorable, and make sure to store it somewhere safe, just in case your memory decides to take a vacation. Go ahead and enter your credit card information. Just a reminder, DigitalOcean won't charge you for the next 60 days. Another way to get started is right from your DigitalOcean dashboard. Just head over to Droplets, wait for the page to load, then click on Create Droplet. Select the data center that's closest to your location. For the operating system, choose Ubuntu and stick with the latest version. Under CPU Options, click on Basic, then choose Regular and select the $6 plan. You won't need any additional storage, so skip that. Set a strong password and finally click on Create Droplet. You're all set. Once your droplet is created, you'll see it listed on your dashboard like this. As you create more droplets, and trust me, you probably will, because it's always fun to spin up new servers, test things out, and then spin them down, they'll all show up right here on this page. Go ahead and click on the one we just created. You'll also notice it has a unique IP address. That's how you'll connect to it. On this screen, you'll see all the buttons, reports, and tools you need to manage your new server. Now go ahead and click on Console to open up direct access to your droplet. All right, this is the console we'll use to interact with and manage our server. I'm just gonna resize it a bit to make it fill the screen, makes things easier to see and work with. Right now, this is a bare bones Ubuntu server. There's absolutely nothing on it, which is perfect from a development perspective. To run N8N successfully, we'll need to install Docker. We're gonna use a Docker container to host our N8N instance. So first, we'll install Docker, and then we'll install N8N. Let's get started. First, we need to update the system. Start by running the update command, and once that's done, run the upgrade command. Don't worry, I'll include all these commands in the description below so you can easily copy and paste them. Next up, we need to install all the prerequisites. These are the packages Docker needs to run smoothly. Again, I'll drop all the necessary commands in the description below for your convenience. Next, we're going to add Docker's official GPG key. This step helps ensure we're installing Docker from a trusted source. Then, we'll add the Docker repository so our system knows where to fetch the Docker packages from. This sets us up to install the latest official version. Now, update the package index once more to include the Docker repo we just added, and then go ahead and install Docker. We're getting close. 
Just a few more steps before we're up and running. Next, start the Docker service and enable it to run automatically on boot. That way Docker will always be ready whenever your server starts up. Now, add your user to the Docker group. This step is optional, but highly recommend it. It lets you run Docker commands without needing to use sudo every time. Much more convenient. Now let's test the installation to make sure everything's working. First, check the Docker version to confirm it installed correctly. Then, Run the default Docker Hello World container. If everything's set up properly, you should see a friendly message from Docker. Well done. Everything is now properly set up and we're ready to move on to the installation of N8N. To make this step easier, I've already created the necessary files for you inside our school community. It's completely free and you can access it right away. Just follow the link in the description below. There are a few ways to set up N8N, but what I'm showing you here is the right way to do it using proper Docker Compose files for a clean and reliable setup. All right, our first step is to create a Docker Compose file. Think of this file like a recipe for baking a cake. You put all your ingredients, or in this case, configurations, in one place. Then, when you run it, it bakes everything into a fully functional Docker container. The beauty of this is that you don't have to set things up step-by-step -step manually. It's all automated, repeatable, and easy to manage. You can stop it, restart it, upgrade it, whatever you need, without any hassle. It really simplifies long-term maintenance. All right, type in nano docker-compose.yaml. Nano is just a simple text editor for the terminal, kind of like Notepad on Windows. It lets you create and edit files right from the command line. Now go ahead and paste in the file you copied from the school community. In Ubuntu, pasting is easy. Just right-click with your mouse and it'll drop the text right into the terminal. Now hop back over to the droplets page in your dashboard and copy the IP address listed for your instance. We'll use that in our configuration. Now go through the Docker Compose file and find all the places where I've marked it as your IP address. Replace each of those with the actual IP you just copied from your droplet. This ensures everything points to the right place when we launch in 8N. To save your changes in Nano, press Ctrl plus O, then hit Enter to confirm the file name. After that, press Ctrl plus X to exit the editor. Simple as that. The next step is to create the environment file. Type in nano.env and hit enter. Then, paste in the code you got from the school community. After that, make sure to replace all the placeholder keys and passwords with your actual ones. This file will securely store your configuration details for N8N. Now, to get everything up and running, Type in docker compose up and press enter. This command will take care of everything automatically. As you'll see, it's setting up both N8N and Postgres at the same time. We're including Postgres, so you'll have access to your own dedicated database moving forward. And in upcoming tutorials, I'll show you exactly how to use it, so you won't need to pay for extra storage. Pretty neat, right? Docker is now busy pulling all the necessary components and images. It's basically downloading everything it needs to build and run your N8N setup. Just sit tight for a moment while it works its magic. All done. Now type in Docker PS. This will list all of your running containers. As you can see, you've got two fresh containers up and running. You'll also notice the ports they're exposing to the web, which tells you how to access them 
from your browser. Now I'm going to show you how to set up OpenSSL so you can connect to your N8N instance via HTTPS. If this all sounds a bit unfamiliar, no worries, you're not alone. But if you do know what I'm talking about, just follow along with the steps and be sure to replace the placeholder domain with your actual domain if you have one. I've already added all the tips and file content to the school page, so just head over there, copy everything, and paste it right in here. Easy as that. Now just wait about two minutes for the instance to fully start up. Then open your browser, type in your IP address, and hit Enter. You should see your N8N instance up and running. The very first time you access the N8N page, it's going to prompt you for the owner setup. Go ahead and fill in your information here, and make sure to store it somewhere safe. This is important because, as far as I know, you can't reset this without wiping and recreating the entire setup. Now click the button that says, send me a free license key. Once you get the email, just click the activate license key button inside it. That'll bring you right back to this page and you'll see confirmation that your license key has been successfully activated. And there you go. That's how you set up N8N on a droplet. And the best part, it can cost you as little as $4 a month. Next up, I'll show you how to check your current version and update it whenever a new release comes out. Go down here, click on the little three dots, and then select Settings. At the bottom of the Settings page, you'll see the current version. Right now, we're on version 1.99.0. Since that's not the latest version as of this recording, let me show you how to update it. If we head over to the N8N release notes, we can see that the latest version is 1.10. 3.2, so let's update our instance to that. To do this, go back to your server console. We're going to update the Docker Compose file. Basically, we'll take down the current Docker containers, but don't worry, you won't lose any data. That's because we're using volumes stored on the host machine. We'll change the version number in the Docker Compose file and then bring everything back up again. Just to prove that this setup preserves your data, I'm going to create a simple workflow with two nodes. Then we'll update to the new version and confirm that everything is still intact. Let's add a simple set node. Now just give it a key and a value, something like some key and some value. Verify that it works, then make sure to save the workflow. Change the name to test workflow. And there you have it. We now have one saved workflow ready to go. To update to the new version, head back to your console and type nano docker composeyaml Scroll down to the line that starts with image. You'll see it's currently set to version 1.99.0. Change that to the latest version, which is 1.103.2, then save and exit the file. Next, we need to stop the currently running N8N instance. Type in docker compose down N8N. This will shut down just the N8N container without touching your data, thanks to the volumes we set up earlier. Here's a neat little trick while you're in the console, just like I'm doing here. Use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to scroll through your previous commands. That way, you don't have to retype everything from scratch. Perfect. By typing docker ps, you can see that we're now running the latest image of N8N. 
Everything's up to date and running smoothly. Back in N8N, you'll see that our workflow is still right there, safe and sound. And as soon as you open it, you'll notice the interface reflecting the newly installed version. Everything updated perfectly without losing a thing. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you found this helpful or it sparked some ideas for your own automation journey, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps more productivity enthusiasts discover these time-saving techniques. Until next time, keep automating the boring stuff. I'll see you in the next video.